Hi, Jim. Okay, I've got your watch here. You've owned this from new. I got the case, but overall the watch looks good. I mean, my first impression is, is, is good. It's clearly original. It's an original watch. It was never abused. I mean, there's the crown issue, but the rest of the watch looks fine. Look at the movement. Look at the brightness of the movement. Look at the shine on the metal. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice watch. It's a nice watch. It's a good starting place. Um, in terms of the numbers, these are low. This is 80 points low from what it should be, but that's normal. It's unserviced. It's not happy to run really that well because it's not lubricated and it's dirty. But we can see that the mechanics of it are sound. It's, this indicates a steady line, an even line, relative accuracy to itself. It's gaining steadily, uh, but it's not all over the place and it's a clean signal. That tells me that the interior of the watch, the movement, is in decent condition. Decent condition. Um, it's you know it's it's a good it's a good starting point. I'm just going to look at the mainspring of our report. No, that's tight. No, we're getting a little movement, but nothing major. Yeah, the crown I mean is broken, and unfortunately, all the other parts are gone. The the stems in these things are a four part construction. You have the crown, and then the stem, and then there's a gear, and then there's a spring for the gear. Your stem is broken, it's the only piece left, all the other parts are gone, and I can rebuild them, I have the parts, but it's expensive, because they're all discontinued and they're hard to come by. So, let's talk cosmetics. Yeah, it's a good watch, it's original, and I really like these taper bracelets, these, the second gen uh, taper bracelets versus the straight ones. I just, I, I mean, I like them both, but I just think the taper ones are elegant. I think they fit really well with the case style. right here for you no it's a good watch clean dial surface oh your buttons are super sticky I shouldn't have pushed that in ah, there we go pop it back out look at the beautiful loom the nice radial later on these later dials this radial on the lower bit is much more pronounced the earlier ones isn't quite as pronounced but it's, it's nice. Nice red hands. It's in good condition. Uh, the indicator ring is slightly faded, but only a little bit. Overall, it's a very good watch. Look, bright brushing on the case. After this gets cleaned, it'll look awesome. It'll look really awesome. It's nice that you have your original watch. We can make it better. It's just this, building the crown assembly, that's going to be, it's expensive. I have all the parts. It's just they're hard to come by, and Seiko doesn't make them anymore, so... They haven't made them for decades, but with a service, with a crown rebuild, with a case rebuild with seals, we need that because you can see the button sticks are so sticky, but that's really all you need. The rest of the watch is intact. I'm not sure why, what's up with your day wheel here? It might be that it's pushing over the day. I can't tell because they don't have a stem. If this is indicating it's 1.19 a.m., if that's what time the watch thinks it is, it could be pushing over the day. I'll have to check that. No, it's a good watch. It's a good watch. Needs a crystal, case rebuild, service, and a, um, unfortunately a complete crown assembly, which is expensive. But uh, this watch is worth it. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, thank you.